if you think about when people make knives and they just beat, they, you know, they heat up knives and they beat the impurities out of them, it really strengthens the knife. You had guys that had just been beaten down and strengthened up together for the last four years. It was our year. It was definitely our year. Um, we felt like we had a good shot to contend for the conference championship. We felt like um, we were, we, it was our time. It was finally our time to have that season. We knew we had the running backs. We knew we had the run game. Uh, the pass game was great, Braden. I mean, everything on offense and defense was firing on all cylinders going into the season. And it took, it took a little rocky start, but once we figured out how we could win, it was all she wrote. Handoff, Smith spins off a tackle at the 25, to the 20, to the 15, breaks the tackle to the five, he's into the end zone. Carl Smith looks pretty good to me. Touchdown. And then when we show up and start smacking people in the mouth, people start looking like, who are these guys? You know what I mean? It took four years. It took four years of gelling together, started thumping people. It was incredible, just because it was, it was, we didn't feel like we could be beat. We reached an all-time confidence peak once we won that first game and then that second game. And then it was, once we beat San Diego, it was like, yeah, you're gonna have to, if you're gonna beat the cam, if you're gonna beat the Camels, you're gonna have to bring your A game from here on out. I mean, beat, us beating San Diego at home was uh, probably one of the biggest accomplishments of that team, because San Diego had been crushing everybody back in the day. From the shotgun, Braden Smith's going to take it himself, running between the tackles, has a first down to the 40, to the 30, to the 20, has one man to beat, makes a cut at the 15, makes another cut at the 10, hops over a man and rolls oh. into the end zone for a touchdown. Us and beating San Diego here at home soundly, and I, I mean, our fans didn't know what to do. They didn't know how to storm a field yet. They had never done anything like that. It's on homecoming. It was, you know, definitely the biggest game in, in our history at that point not even close as far as a win. But that moment, I feel like, was a turning point in the belief of this program, of what it could be and how it could be. Having a lot of important people see that we could get it done. It was amazing. Uh, I know all the guys in the locker room that have been there for five years that put in the blood, sweat, and tears for Campbell football, there was a lot of great people as well as great athletes on that team. It was a milestone, definitely. It, we had definitely accomplished something. If you're able to get through all of that and have a winning season and be able to have some really good memories with your brothers, uh, you've been successful. You know, it's nothing but pure excitement and love for one another, and we did it together. There was no one above the next. We just had to do it together.